Hi, I'm Sebastian Francoeur, I'm the VFX soup uh, for The Witcher at Rodeo FX. Hi, I'm Yvon Jardin and I was the animation supervisor on The Witcher. Today we're going to talk about The Witcher uh, and more specifically, the Queen. The action takes place in, uh, in a real forest, but uh, at some point, uh, we build CG trees to stage her mm -hmm. um, in that environment. It was a matter of uh, continuity because the, the forest was composed with tall, long trees and putting a queen in the middle of that forest, you know, we would have spotted her or that would make no sense that Geralt mm -hmm. and Ciri wouldn't have spotted her. Uh, initially, there were talks about the queen moving and so with all the roots, we did, I remember we even did some concept arts where she could have like uh, trunk-like legs that would uh, turn into uh, individual roots that would support her, like, uh, like a spider almost. And, but we did lots of animation tests to explore the level of flexibility she would have if she could tilt on her roots, walk with her roots, turn around, she can move her arm, but she's firmly planted in her final version. Yeah, well, yeah, that, 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 that character, it's more about her controlling the environment and just like a queen, you know, a queen or a king, they're not really moving. Mm -hmm. So it's really, you know, it's her moving the, 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 those uh, elements to attack Geralt and she's staying, you know. On this one, uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, you participate to the storyboarding of that sequence. Do you? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true, it's true. We not only did some concept for uh, like some suggestion of leg design and, and dress design, a big aspect of the um, establishing the queen, like the, the, I guess the key was how do we make her majestic and queen-like. Part of this was the design and the dress design with a bunch of concepts. Um, but you're, you're right, we also participated at um, pitching some storyboard ideas. We uh, knew that Geralt was supposed to fight um, roots from everywhere and then eventually go and, uh, go and stab the queen. I think in the end a few ideas stick. I think we have a couple of shots that made it to the, the final episode. I think there's two main parts about uh, making her uh, monstrous. There were that animation part and the design part of it. Um, Design-wise, uh, when we were looking, you know, at large at the creature, we needed to make sure that we read properly the crown, the robe, even the, po the puffy shoulder on her robe. And also in the design, you know, when we take a closer look, her head was uh, really inspired by a deer skull. You know, had that crooked feeling, nothing was straight, everything was asymmetric. So that was one of the parts. Mm -hmm. The, yeah, for sure, like the skull, creepy and at the same time very, um, um, come on, yeah. sophisticated, queen-like, I guess. I do remember the number of iteration we did to make sure, yeah. you know, the, 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 the arc of her back was, you know, holding to the proper uh, queen stance, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Can you do that again? Yeah. <laughs> this is... That, this that's is, our yeah, queen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I remember storyboarding this initially. It's fun because you, we, we wanted to like um, travel towards mm -hmm. her. You're seeing her face like she's super mean, and then, bah, and then she uh, she split open. I think in the in the final shot, it's a wider shot. It's a reveal of a myriapod. But what we had suggested, which was fun, is that it's a close up of her face, and then it, it uh, splits the screen in two. Unfortunately, it never made the cut. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's it, everybody. We hope you enjoyed uh, watching this episode of Breaking Down the Breakdown. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>